Are you tired of feeling disrespected, belittled, and undervalued? Do you often find yourself at the mercy of others' opinions and judgments? Imagine a life where no one's words can hurt you, where you feel empowered and confident no matter what others say. Sounds amazing, right? In this video, we'll explore how you can achieve this through the profound spiritual teachings of Buddhism. By the end, you'll learn how to shield yourself from insults and reclaim your self-respect. Think about a time when someone's comment ruined your day. It hurt, didn't it? Now, imagine brushing off that comment effortlessly, feeling no pain or anger. This isn't just a fantasy. It's entirely possible. Today, we'll share the secrets that can make this your reality. Here's a simple example. Picture a serene lake. When someone throws a stone into it, the water ripples for a moment, but soon it returns to its calm state. This is what your mind can become, calm and unbothered by external disturbances. Stay with us to discover how you can cultivate this peaceful state of mind. Welcome to Wisdom Woven. We're so glad you're here with us today. If you're ready to transform your life and build unshakable self-respect, please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's aim for 1,000 likes on this video to unlock something special for you all. In Buddhism, the journey to unshakable self-respect begins with understanding your intrinsic value. You are not defined by your achievements, possessions, or social status. You have worth simply because you exist. This concept is a fundamental truth in Buddhism, and embracing it can transform how you view yourself. One of the core teachings of Buddhism is the principle of impermanence. Everything in life is transient and constantly changing. This includes our thoughts, emotions, and circumstances. By understanding this, we can detach our self-worth from these external factors, which are always in flux. Consider this. If you base your self-worth on your job, what happens when you face a setback at work? Your self-esteem plummets. Instead, root your self-worth in something stable, your inherent Buddha nature. This creates a solid foundation that external events cannot shake. In today's world, social media often traps us into measuring our worth by likes, comments, and shares. But these are merely reflections of others' realities, not our own. Buddhism teaches us to look inward and connect with our true selves. This inner wisdom helps us see beyond illusions and value ourselves for who we truly are. Recognizing your strengths and achievements, no matter how small, is crucial. Celebrate your victories and progress. This is not about arrogance, but about self-compassion. A key practice in Buddhism known as mudita, or sympathetic joy. Rejoicing in your own and others' success boosts your self-worth and fosters goodwill. Self-compassion also involves mindfulness. By being present with our emotions, even the difficult ones, we can accept them as part of our human experience rather than as personal failures. Mindfulness helps us develop a compassionate and understanding relationship with ourselves. Forgiveness is another vital aspect of self-compassion. We all make mistakes and have regrets, Holding on to these can create barriers to self-respect. Buddhism teaches us to let go, forgive ourselves, and move forward with an open heart. This doesn't mean excusing our actions, but learning from them and releasing them. Taking care of your physical and emotional well-being is also a form of self-respect. This includes mindful eating, regular exercise, and ensuring enough sleep. These habits honor your body and mind, recognizing their need for care and nurturing. Meditation is a cornerstone of Buddhist practice. It cultivates self-awareness, inner peace, and self-compassion. Regular meditation helps you understand yourself better, manage stress, and maintain a positive mindset, all of which are crucial for self-respect. In conclusion, the teachings of Buddhism offer profound insights into building unshakable self-respect. By understanding your intrinsic value, embracing impermanence, and practicing self-compassion, you can shield yourself from insults and live a more empowered life. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into these concepts in the upcoming parts. Don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe to Wisdom Woven. Let's hit that 1000 likes target to bring you something truly special. Thank you for joining us on this journey to self-respect and inner peace. Lesson 1. Understanding your intrinsic value. Have you ever stopped to think about what truly defines your worth? It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life, chasing after external validations like success, wealth, or popularity. But what if I told you that your value goes far beyond these fleeting achievements? Picture this. Imagine a beautiful diamond sparkling under the sunlight. Its worth doesn't diminish if it's hidden away or if someone fails to recognize its brilliance. Similarly, your worth is inherent just by being you. You don't need to prove it to anyone, not even to yourself. In Buddhism, there's a profound teaching called impermanence. It reminds us that everything in life is transient, including our circumstances, possessions, and even our thoughts and emotions. When we understand this, we realize that pinning our self-worth on external factors is like building a house on shifting sands. It's unstable and unreliable. Your worth isn't determined by the number of likes on your latest social media post or the approval of others. It's about recognizing the unique qualities that make you who you are. Your kindness, resilience, creativity. These are the real treasures that define your worth. When you root your self-worth in your inherent qualities, you create a stable foundation that can't be shaken by external circumstances. Whether you're riding high on success or facing challenges, your worth remains constant. Think of it this way. If a tree's worth were determined by its fruits, it would feel worthless during the winter when its branches are bare. But just like the tree, your worth isn't tied to your external manifestations. It's about embracing your essence regardless of the seasons of life. So, take a moment to reflect on what truly makes you valuable. It's not about what you have or what you've accomplished. It's about who you are at your core. Embrace your intrinsic value, and you'll find a sense of worth that no one can take away from you. Lesson two, embracing impermanence. Embrace change, embrace life. In the vast tapestry of existence, change is the only constant. Seasons shift, flowers bloom and wither, and the sun rises and sets each day. This eternal dance of impermanence is not something to fear but to celebrate. For within impermanence lies the beauty of life itself. Riding the waves of change. Imagine life as a vast ocean, with each moment akin to a wave cresting and breaking upon the shore. We cannot control the ebb and flow of these waves, but we can learn to navigate them with grace and resilience. Embracing impermanence means riding the waves of change with courage and openness, knowing that each wave carries the potential for growth and transformation. Letting go of attachments. One of the fundamental teachings of Buddhism is the concept of non-attachment. By releasing our grip on the fleeting pleasures and possessions of the material world, we free ourselves from suffering. Embracing impermanence means letting go of attachments to things, people, and even our own identities, allowing us to experience life with greater freedom and joy. Finding freedom in acceptance. Resistance to change often stems from a fear of the unknown. But when we embrace impermanence, we find freedom in acceptance. Instead of clinging to the past or anxiously anticipating the future, we learn to fully embrace the present moment knowing that it is all we truly have. In this acceptance, we discover a deep sense of peace and contentment, embracing the seasons of life. Just as nature cycles through seasons of growth, decay, and rebirth, so too do our lives. Embracing impermanence means honoring the seasons of our own existence, the joys, the sorrows, the successes, and the failures. Each season has its own lessons to teach us, and by embracing them fully, we enrich our journey through life. Cultivating gratitude for the present. Impermanence reminds us to cherish each moment as it arises, for it is here and then gone in the blink of an eye. By cultivating gratitude for the present moment, we learn to savor the simple joys of life, a warm embrace, a heartfelt laugh, a gentle breeze on a summer's day. In these moments of gratitude, 
we find richness and meaning in the ever-changing tapestry of existence. Embracing impermanence in practice. Practicing impermanence is not about denying the reality of change, but embracing it wholeheartedly. It is about living with a sense of openness and curiosity, welcoming each new experience with wonder and awe. Whether it's trying a new hobby, embarking on a journey, or simply being present with whatever arises, embracing impermanence is a practice of liberation and transformation. Letting go of fear. Fear often arises from our resistance to change, our attachment to the familiar and the known. But when we embrace impermanence, we learn to let go of fear and embrace life with courage and compassion. We understand that change is not something to be feared but embraced as an opportunity for growth and renewal. Honoring the cycle of birth and death. Impermanence is perhaps most evident in the cycle of birth and death. Just as the seasons come and go, so too do we pass through the stages of life, from birth to death and beyond. By embracing impermanence, we come to see death not as an end but as a natural part of the cycle of life, a transition to be embraced with grace and acceptance. Finding peace in impermanence. In the face of life's uncertainties, impermanence offers us a pathway to peace. By embracing the ever-changing nature of existence, we release ourselves from the grip of fear and uncertainty, finding solace in the knowledge that all things are impermanent. In this acceptance, we discover a profound sense of peace that transcends the ups and downs of life. Embracing impermanence, a call to action. As we journey through life, may we remember the wisdom of impermanence, that change is inevitable, but suffering is optional. Let us embrace the ever-changing nature of existence with open hearts and open minds, finding beauty and joy in the dance of impermanence. For in embracing impermanence, we discover the true essence of life itself, a precious and fleeting gift to be cherished and savored in each passing moment. Lesson 3. Cultivating Inner Wisdom Are you ready to unlock the secrets to inner peace and unshakable self-respect? Welcome to Part 4 of our journey where we dive into the transformative power of cultivating inner wisdom. In a world filled with noise and distraction, finding clarity and understanding within ourselves is essential. But how do we cultivate this inner wisdom? Let's start by acknowledging that wisdom is not about accumulating knowledge or facts. It's about tapping into a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Imagine your mind as a vast ocean with layers of thoughts and emotions swirling beneath the surface. Cultivating inner wisdom is like diving beneath those waves to discover the stillness and clarity that reside within. One way to cultivate inner wisdom is through the practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness invites us to become fully present in the moment, observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment. By simply noticing our experiences as they arise, we can begin to untangle ourselves from the constant stream of chatter in our minds. Another essential aspect of cultivating inner wisdom is learning to trust our intuition. Often, we already know the answers we seek deep down inside, but we allow doubt and fear to cloud our judgment. By quieting the noise and tuning into our intuition, we can access a wellspring of guidance and insight. In Buddhism, the concept of emptiness is central to cultivating inner wisdom. Emptiness does not mean nothingness. Rather, it refers to the inherent interconnectedness and impermanence of all things. When we recognize that our thoughts, emotions, and circumstances are fleeting and ever-changing, we can let go of attachments and find freedom in the present moment. Cultivating inner wisdom also involves embracing the practice of self-reflection. Take time each day to pause, breathe, and reflect on your experiences. What lessons can you glean from challenging situations? How can you grow from adversity? By turning inward and exploring these questions, you can deepen your understanding of yourself and the world. Remember, cultivating inner wisdom is a lifelong journey, not a destination. Be patient and compassionate with yourself as you navigate this path. Each moment offers an opportunity to learn and grow to cultivate greater clarity and insight. So, are you ready to embark on the journey of self-discovery? 
Join us as we explore the transformative power of cultivating inner wisdom and unlock the keys to unshakable self-respect. Together, we can tap into the wisdom that resides within each of us and reclaim our inner strength and clarity. Lesson 4. Practicing Self-Compassion In a world where criticism can feel like a constant companion, there's one powerful antidote, self-compassion. Imagine a warm embrace from within, a gentle reminder that you are worthy of kindness, understanding, and patience just as much as anyone else. That's the essence of self-compassion, a transformative practice deeply rooted in Buddhist teachings. Picture this. You're navigating through life's ups and downs, and amidst it all, you stumble upon moments of self-doubt, of feeling not good enough. It's in these very moments that self-compassion shines like a beacon of light, guiding you towards a place of acceptance and love for yourself. Self-compassion isn't about self-pity or indulgence. It's about treating yourself with the same tenderness you would offer to a dear friend facing a rough patch. It's extending a hand of understanding when you make mistakes, offering yourself forgiveness, and embracing your own humanity with open arms. Think of mindfulness as your trusted companion on this journey of self-compassion. It's the practice of being present with your thoughts and emotions without judgment. By simply acknowledging and accepting your feelings, even the difficult ones, you pave the way for self-compassion to flourish. Self-compassion is like a soft cushion amidst life's rocky terrain. It cushions the blows of self-criticism, allowing you to navigate challenges with greater resilience and grace. Instead of berating yourself for your flaws or failures, self-compassion invites you to treat yourself with kindness and understanding. Consider forgiveness as another cornerstone of self-compassion. We all make mistakes. It's part of being human, but holding on to past regrets only weighs us down. Self-compassion teaches us to let go of the burden of self-blame, to forgive ourselves, and to move forward with a heart full of compassion. Nurturing yourself physically, emotionally, and spiritually is an act of self-compassion. It's about honoring your needs whether it's taking time for self-care, pursuing activities that bring you joy, or seeking support when you're struggling. Self-compassion is the gentle reminder that you are deserving of care and kindness. Always, in the tapestry of life, self-compassion weaves a thread of resilience and inner strength. It's the foundation upon which you build a relationship of trust and acceptance with yourself. Through self-compassion, you cultivate a deep sense of self-respect honoring your worth and inherent dignity. So, as you journey through life's twists and turns, remember the transformative power of self-compassion. Embrace yourself with love and kindness, knowing that in doing so, you nurture the seeds of self-respect that blossom into a life filled with joy, peace, and fulfillment. Lesson 5. Developing Healthy Habits In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it's easy to forget the importance of taking care of ourselves. But here's the thing, self-respect begins with self-care. Yes, you heard it right. Your body and mind are your most valuable assets, and nurturing them is crucial for your overall well-being. Let's talk about mindful living. It's not just a fancy buzzword, it's a game-changer. Mindful eating, for example, is about more than just devouring your meal. It's about savoring each bite, appreciating the flavors, textures, and nourishment that food provides. By eating mindfully, you not only treat your body with respect, but also develop a deeper connection with the food you consume. And what about exercise? Ah, uh, the joys of moving your body. Whether it's a leisurely stroll in the park, a heart-pumping dance session, or a calming yoga practice, physical activity is key to honoring your body. Find what moves you literally and make it a part of your routine. Now, let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, sleep. Yes, you heard it right. Sleep is not a luxury, it's a necessity. It's during those precious hours of slumber that your body and mind recharge, rejuvenate, and repair. So, prioritize sleep like it's your job, your well-rested self will thank you later. Meditation, it's not just for the yogis and monks, it's for everyone. 
This ancient practice is a powerful tool for cultivating self-awareness, inner peace, and self-compassion. Just a few minutes of meditation a day can make a world of difference in how you perceive yourself and the world around you. But hey, let's not forget about relationships. Surrounding yourself with positive, supportive people is essential for your mental and emotional well-being. Cultivate friendships that uplift you, relationships that nourish you, and connections that inspire you to be the best version of yourself. Remember, developing healthy habits isn't about perfection. It's about progress. So, take it one step at a time, be kind to yourself along the way, and watch as your self-respect blossoms like never before. Lesson 6. The Role of Meditation in Self-Respect Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the chaos of life? Or maybe you've struggled with negative self-talk and self-doubt? Well, what if I told you there's a simple yet powerful tool that can help you navigate these challenges and cultivate unshakable self-respect? That tool is meditation. Picture this. You're sitting in a quiet room, eyes closed, focusing only on your breath. In that moment, the noise of the world fades away and you're left with a sense of calm and clarity. This is the magic of meditation a practice that has been used for centuries to quiet the mind and connect with our inner selves. But meditation isn't just about finding peace in the present moment. It's also about building a strong foundation of self-respect from within. When we meditate, we create a space to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment. This allows us to develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and our worth. Think of meditation as a workout for your mind. Just like going to the gym strengthens your body, meditation strengthens your mental resilience. It helps you become more aware of your thought patterns and allows you to choose how you respond to them. This empowers you to break free from negative self-talk and cultivate a more positive self-image. Now, you might be thinking, but I don't have time to meditate. Trust me, I get it. Life can be busy and hectic. But here's the thing. You don't need hours of meditation to reap its benefits. Even just a few minutes a day can make a world of difference. So, how exactly does meditation boost self-respect? Well, for starters, it teaches us to be present in the moment. Instead of dwelling on past mistakes or worrying about the future, we learn to fully embrace the here and now. This shift in perspective allows us to appreciate ourselves exactly as we are, flaws and all. But perhaps the most powerful aspect of meditation is its ability to cultivate self-compassion. As we sit with our thoughts and emotions, we inevitably encounter moments of discomfort. And it's in these moments that we have a choice. We can either berate ourselves for feeling a certain way or we can offer ourselves kindness and understanding. Meditation teaches us to choose the latter. It encourages us to treat ourselves with the same compassion we would offer to a friend in need. By practicing self-compassion on the meditation cushion, we learn to extend it to every aspect of our lives. But don't just take my word for it. Countless studies have shown the positive effects of meditation on self-respect and overall well-being. From reducing stress and anxiety to improving focus and decision-making, the benefits are undeniable. So, if you're ready to take your self-respect to the next level, why not give meditation a try? Whether you're a seasoned practitioner or a complete beginner, there's never been a better time to start. Remember, the journey to unshakable self-respect begins within, and meditation is your roadmap to get there. Lesson 7. The Importance of Mindfulness Welcome back to Wisdom Woven. In this captivating segment, we're diving deep into the transformative power of mindfulness. Imagine a life where you feel more present, more aware, and more connected. That's the magic of mindfulness, and it's waiting for you to embrace it fully. Let's start by unraveling what mindfulness truly means. It's not about emptying your mind or suppressing thoughts. Instead, it's about being fully engaged in the present moment without judgment. Picture yourself savoring each sensation, each breath, as if it were the most precious gift. Now, why is mindfulness so crucial? Well, for starters, it's a gateway to inner peace. In a world filled with distractions and noise, mindfulness offers a sanctuary, 
a place of stillness amidst the chaos. By practicing mindfulness, you can cultivate a sense of calm that radiates from within. But that's not all. Mindfulness also enhances our ability to respond to life's challenges with clarity and composure. Instead of reacting impulsively, we learn to pause, to breathe, and to choose our responses consciously. This empowers us to navigate even the most turbulent waters with grace and resilience. And let's not forget about the profound impact of mindfulness on our mental and emotional well-being. Research shows that regular mindfulness practice can reduce stress, anxiety, and depression. It fosters greater self-awareness and self-compassion, allowing us to embrace our experiences with kindness and acceptance. But here's the best part. Anyone can practice mindfulness. Anywhere, anytime. You don't need fancy equipment or hours of free time. All you need is yourself and a willingness to cultivate awareness. Whether you're sitting in traffic, washing dishes, or taking a walk in nature, mindfulness is always within reach. So, how can you incorporate mindfulness into your daily life? Simpler than you might think. Start by dedicating just a few minutes each day to mindful breathing. Close your eyes, focus on the sensation of your breath entering and leaving your body, and let go of any distractions. You can also infuse mindfulness into everyday activities, such as eating, walking, or even showering. Pay attention to each moment, each sensation, with a gentle curiosity. Notice the colors, the textures, the sounds around you, as if experiencing them for the very first time. And remember, mindfulness is not about achieving a state of perfection. It's about embracing the present moment with all its imperfections and uncertainties. So be patient with yourself and allow mindfulness to unfold naturally, one breath at a time. As we conclude this enlightening exploration of mindfulness, I invite you to embark on your own journey of self-discovery. Embrace each moment with openness and curiosity, knowing that the path to greater self-respect begins with a single step. Thank you for joining us on this transformative adventure. And until next time, may you walk in mindfulness and peace. Lesson 8 Building Positive Relationships Creating Connections That Elevate Your Self-Respect Are you ready to discover the key to unshakable self-respect? Get ready because in this segment, we're diving deep into the transformative power of positive relationships. Think about the people in your life. Are they lifting you up or dragging you down? The relationships we cultivate play a significant role in how we perceive ourselves. It's time to surround yourself with individuals who uplift and inspire you. Imagine being in a circle of friends who celebrate your successes, support you through challenges, and remind you of your worth. That's the kind of positive energy we're talking about here, the kind that boosts your self-respect to new heights. But it's not just about receiving support, it's also about giving it. By fostering kindness, understanding, and compassion in your relationships, you're not only elevating others, but also reinforcing your own sense of worth. Now, you might be wondering, how do I cultivate these positive relationships? It starts with intention. Be intentional about the company you keep. Surround yourself with people who share your values and uplift your spirit. Communication is key. Open, honest, and respectful communication builds trust and strengthens bonds. Don't be afraid to express your needs and boundaries, and equally, listen with empathy and understanding. Remember, it's quality over quantity. Focus on nurturing a few meaningful connections rather than spreading yourself thin. Quality relationships provide a solid foundation for self-respect to flourish. And don't forget about self-respect within relationships. Set boundaries and stick to them. Respect yourself enough to walk away from toxic dynamics that diminish your worth. In Buddhism, the concept of interconnectedness reminds us that we are all part of a larger whole. By cultivating positive relationships, we not only uplift ourselves but also contribute to the collective well-being. So, take a moment to reflect on your relationships. Are they nurturing your self-respect or hindering it? And if it's the latter, don't be afraid to make changes. Your self-respect is worth it. In the next segment, 
We'll explore the power of positive self-talk and how it can transform your inner dialogue. Stay tuned because your journey to unshakable self-respect is just getting started. Lesson 9. Harnessing the Power of Positive Self-Talk Have you ever stopped to consider the impact of the words you speak to yourself? It's time to pay attention because positive self-talk can transform your life in ways you never imagined. Think about it. When you constantly criticize yourself, focusing on flaws and shortcomings, what message are you sending to your subconscious mind? It's a recipe for low self-esteem and self-doubt. But what if you flipped the script? What if you replaced those negative thoughts with words of kindness, encouragement, and affirmation? Positive self-talk is like a magic wand that can banish self-doubt and negativity from your mind. Instead of dwelling on your flaws, focus on your strengths and achievements. Celebrate your victories no matter how small they may seem. Imagine waking up every morning and speaking to yourself with the same kindness and compassion you would offer to a beloved friend. How would that shift your perspective? Words have power. They shape your reality. So, why not choose words that uplift and inspire you? Practice gratitude and focus on the good in your life. By appreciating what you have, you shift your focus away from what you lack. Remember, you are deserving of love, kindness, and respect. Let your self-talk reflect that truth. As Buddha said, the mind is everything. What you think, you become. Positive self-talk isn't about being delusional or ignoring your challenges. It's about acknowledging your worth and believing in your abilities. It's about creating a positive reality for yourself, one where you are empowered to overcome obstacles and achieve your dreams. So make it a habit. Speak to yourself with kindness, love, and respect. Cultivate a mindset of positivity and watch how it transforms your life. You have the power to shape your reality with your words. So, why not choose words that empower you? Embrace the power of positive self-talk and watch as it propels you towards a life filled with confidence, happiness, and fulfillment. Lesson 10. Letting go of external validation. Have you ever felt like your worth is determined by the approval of others? Do you find yourself constantly seeking validation from external sources? Well, it's time to break free from this cycle and reclaim your sense of self-worth. Imagine a life where you no longer depend on others to validate your worth. A life where your value comes from within, not from the opinions of others. This is the essence of letting go of external validation. Think about it. When we rely on others to validate us, we give away our power. We become prisoners of their opinions, constantly seeking their approval to feel good about ourselves. But here's the truth. Your worth is not determined by what others think of you. Buddhism teaches us the importance of looking inward for validation. Instead of seeking approval from others, we must learn to validate ourselves. This doesn't mean ignoring feedback or shutting out the world. It simply means recognizing that our worth is inherent, not contingent on external validation. Letting go of external validation is liberating. It frees us from the need to constantly seek approval from others. Instead of chasing after validation, we can focus on cultivating self-acceptance and self-love. Imagine the freedom that comes from no longer being tied to the opinions of others. You become the master of your own destiny, unshackled by the chains of external validation. You are free to be authentically yourself, without fear of judgment or rejection. But how do we let go of external validation? It starts by shifting our mindset. Instead of seeking approval from others, we must learn to validate ourselves. This means recognizing our worth and embracing our unique qualities, regardless of what others think. Practice self-love and self-acceptance. Treat yourself with kindness and compassion, just as you would a dear friend. Remind yourself that you are worthy of love and respect, simply because you exist. Focus on your strengths and achievements, rather than dwelling on your perceived shortcomings. Celebrate your successes and learn from your failures knowing that they are all part of the journey. Surround yourself with people who uplift and support you. Seek out relationships that are built on mutual respect and understanding, 
rather than validation seeking. Remember, true self-worth comes from within. It is not dependent on the opinions of others. By letting go of external validation, you reclaim your power and embrace your true worth. So, are you ready to break free from the cycle of seeking validation from others? Are you ready to embrace your inherent worth and live authentically? It's time to let go of external validation and step into your power. Conclusion Your journey to unshakable self-respect Unleash your inner strength Are you ready to embark on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment? Throughout this video, we've explored the profound teachings of Buddhism to help you reclaim your self-respect. But the journey doesn't end here. It's just the beginning of a transformative path towards unshakable self-worth. Embrace your worth. Remember, you are worthy of respect simply because you exist. Your value isn't determined by external factors or others' opinions. It's an inherent truth that you must embrace with open arms. Let go of insecurities. Release the chains of self-doubt and insecurity. Embrace imperfections as beautiful facets of your being. Understand that true strength lies in accepting yourself fully, flaws and all. Nurture self-compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Practice self-compassion daily, treating yourself with the same kindness you would offer a beloved friend. Through self-compassion, you'll cultivate a deeper understanding of your own suffering and the suffering of others. Cultivate healthy habits. Take care of your body, mind, and spirit. Prioritize self-care mindful living, and nurturing relationships. By honoring your well-being, you honor your worth. Harness the power of positive self-talk. Your words have power. Choose them wisely. Practice positive self-talk, affirming your strengths and accomplishments. Let go of negative self-perceptions and embrace a mindset of self-love and respect. Seek inner peace. Meditation is your sanctuary. Embrace its calming embrace allowing it to guide you towards inner peace and self-awareness. Through meditation, you'll find clarity, resilience, and a deep connection with your true self. Find joy in the present moment. Life is a precious gift. Treasure each moment, finding joy in the simple pleasures that surround you. Embrace gratitude and mindfulness, cultivating a sense of wonder and appreciation for the beauty of existence. Forge authentic connections. Surround yourself with positivity and authenticity. Cultivate meaningful relationships built on trust, respect, and understanding. Together, you'll uplift and empower each other on your journey towards self-respect. Step into your power. You are the master of your destiny. Take ownership of your life and choices, knowing that you hold the key to your own happiness and fulfillment. Stand tall in your authenticity and embrace the fullness of your being. Celebrate your growth. Acknowledge your progress and celebrate your victories, no matter how small they may seem. Each step forward is a testament to your resilience and strength. Embrace your journey with pride and gratitude. Embrace your unshakable self-respect. As you conclude this video, carry with you the wisdom and teachings you've encountered. Know that you are capable, worthy, and deserving of respect. Embrace your inherent worth and let it shine brightly for the world to see. Your journey to unshakable self-respect begins now.